What's up you guys? How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Victoria Mesa. For today's video, I will be showing how I created this makeup look using only affordable drugstore products. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already for many more beauty tips and tutorials like this. Go hit the little bell down below to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing that I'm going to do is moisturize my lips using the Milani Keep It Smooth Lux Lip Treatment. Next, I'm going to apply some moisturizer. And I'm using an oldie but goodie using the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. This moisturizer is very thick, so I'm only going to use a small amount. I'm applying it with the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. Now I'm going to prime my eyes for eyeshadow and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand. So I just place the concealer on my eyelid and I'm blending it out with the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I did my brows and cleaned them up off camera using the L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylist Definer. For eyeshadow, I'm using eyeshadow palette from Profusion and I'm setting my brow bone using that first cream eyeshadow and I'm just tapping it underneath my brow bone and into my crease. Now for my transition shade, I'm taking the first matte brown eyeshadow. I'm using a Morphe M441 blending brush and placing that into my crease. Using a smaller blending brush, I'm taking a matte cranberry shadow and deepening my crease with that color. And I'm making sure to keep that shadow lower than the first crease shade. So once I laid down the second crease shade, I'll blend it out with the first eyeshadow I placed in my crease. So now before I place my lid colors, I'm going to apply some concealer onto my eyelid. I'm not cutting my crease. I just want to clean up the lid before I place my lid colors. Now I'm going to apply the first lid shade using the Makeup Shack T86 brush and tapping that onto the first half of my eyelid. Now for the next lid shade, I'm taking this purple shimmer shadow and placing it on the outer half of my lid. I want it a little more intense than that. Taking my setting spray once more and spraying my eyeshadow brush and then placing it on my lid. Now I'm going to go in once more with the soft pink eyeshadow and blend the two together. Now I'm taking the second crease shade, blending that into my crease once more. And then I'll blend that out with the first crease shade. And now for liner, I had too much coffee today. <laughs> so I'm not going to try to do a liquid wing eyeliner. I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Eyeliner in the shade Sima Brown now. And I'll do a little baby wing. And I'm only taking this about halfway. So once that eyeliner is placed down, I'll take this matte brown eyeshadow on an angled ALF 203 brush and smudge the top of that pencil liner. And then I'll go over the pencil liner once more just to deepen it. I finished my other eye off camera and I applied mascara. The mascara that I used is the Maybelline New York Snap Mascara. I'm going to add lashes. I'm going to use the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. Wow, I love these lashes. Shout out to Juicy Jazz. She always has the best drugstore recommendations. I love how lashes just take your look to a whole another level. After I'm done with my eyes, I like to apply my foundation. I'm going to apply a primer and I'm using the Pixi Rose Flash Balm Instant Skin Booster. So for primers, I just like to use about this much. And I'm going to apply the primer onto the center of my face. Also onto the outer edges of my face. I really like how this primer smooths out any pores or skin texture and it smells like roses which is a plus. The foundation that I'm using today is from Milani. I'm using the Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Creamy Vanilla. First going to apply the foundation using the Real Techniques Essential Foundation Brush. Just apply the foundation with the brush and then I'll blend it out using my e.l.f. sponge. And I take whatever foundation is left on my sponge and apply that onto my nose. And I like applying the foundation with the brush first because you can really be precise around the top of your brows. Now for concealer, I'm using the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer in the shade Light. 
it. And with this concealer, you only need a tiny amount because it is very full coverage. By a little bit, I mean a lot. I always <laughs> over apply concealer. And I'm going to drag the concealer on the edges of my nose to help with contouring later. Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands. Let me know if you guys would like to see a one brand tutorial using only Milani products. And I'm blending out my concealer using the same e.l.f. sponge. So I'm going to set under my eyes with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. If you don't open your mouth while setting it under eyes, are you really setting your under eyes? <laughs> it's so ugly, but it's the only right way <laughs> to set your under eyes. And I'm also going to set my nose. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in the shade Neutral Buff on an Equate Multi-Purpose Brush. So now I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to use the same shadows from that Profusion eyeshadow palette. I like to start with the darker shade. I like to push that onto my lower lash line and blend that first shade out. I'm using the Pixie E03 eyeshadow brush. Then I'll place that dark matte brown shadow just on the outer edge of my lower lash line. I think I want to add eyeliner to my waterline. So I'm going to use the same Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner. I love brown eyeliner on brown eyes. And the eyes are not complete without lower lash mascara. I'm using my favorite L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara. To contour today, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. It's a little too dark for my under eyes, so I'm going to use it to contour my cheekbones with using the Real Techniques multi-use brush. To bronze my face a little bit more, I'm using the e.l.f. bronzer palette, and this is in Bronze Beauty. Now I'm going to clean up underneath my contour. I'm using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Then I'll just dust it off using that Equate Multi-Purpose Brush. But before I apply my highlight, I'm going to spray my face using the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And today I'm using the Pixi Glowy Gossamer Duo in Delicate Dew. And I'm applying my highlighter using the Real Techniques Setting Brush. Do you guys see this highlight? Oh my gosh. If you haven't tried these highlighters from Pixie Beauty, you need to try them ASAP. Look at this glow. Girl. Thank you to Pixie Beauty for sending me these highlighter duos to try out. I'm going to use this highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bone. I look incomplete without an inner corner highlight. I'm also applying the highlighter down the bridge of my nose. So now that we're glowing, I like to apply my blush to blend in a bronzer and highlighter. I'm taking this Profusion Blush Boutique in Sunkissed. And this blush is very pigmented. I also like to apply blush right here to give my face a sunkissed look. Hey, that's the name of this blush. Perfect. So this step I can never skip. I always have to set my brows. I am going to use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost and Set. So to set my brows, I just like to brush through them upwards. And I like to do this step last, just in case any powders got into my brow. And if you would like a full brow tutorial, I have one on my channel. So now I'm going to set my face once more with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And to finish off the look, I'm going to do my lips. I'm using the Nobby Rose Brown Lip Liner Pencil. So I first like to line my lips with the lip pencil, and then I'll blend out the lip liner. And I love to use the Makeup Shack T66 brush for this. I feel like this helps the lip liner to not look as harsh. And then I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. And shout out to my love Beauty by Rosita for putting me on to this lip shade. And you could clean up around the edge of your lips using a little bit of concealer. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what your one must-have drugstore product is in the comments down below.
Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for your love and support. Bye, guys.